the Armor of Light uh, follows an evangelical minister um, from the very far right wing who begins to rethink uh, the relationship his community has with the gun conversation and the gun culture. And so he starts to push back a little bit on it and he starts to ask himself hard questions about how it relates to what he believes. And uh, it's a very thoughtful, um, um, emotional and moral approach to the, talking about guns. I've watched this political dynamic for a long time and it feels unbreakable. It feels really unbreakable. And I know everybody on all sides feel hopeless and angry about it. And so I really believed that if you were going to do something constructive, you would have to make a film um, that rethought the political dynamic and maybe even didn't even approach it. To me, the gun issue is uh, its a moral issue. It's not a political issue. A lot of activists become filmmakers, and I kind of came at it that way myself. Um, activists are terrible filmmakers <laughs> um, because they want to tell you stuff. They want you to know stuff, and they want you to think about it the way they think about it. Um, it's not a very trusting way to approach an audience. And filmmakers want to tell you about a story. They want you to feel something. And that's been hard for me as somebody who came to it as an activist. So if you want to be a filmmaker, you have to care about people. You have to be willing to relate to people that aren't like you. Um, and you have to be willing to let the story do the talking for you. Um, and, and you have to trust your audience to be able to understand.